Now to this wild scene from two Joliet High Schools. So violent and chaotic, an emergency school board meeting was held tonight. Let's get right to our Charlie DeMar live in the southwest suburbs where the meeting just wrapped up. Charlie. Brad and Erica, good evening. There were not enough seats to accommodate the amount of people who wanted to attend the meeting in person tonight. There were many people who were actually on the outside of this meeting live streaming it on their cell phones. A common theme that came up tonight amongst parents and faculty who voiced their frustrations to the school board was a sense of a lack of accountability, that there weren't any consequences or not stiff enough consequences for those who choose to fight and disrupt school. Now there is a real call on the school board to take control of the hallway. Cell phone video of an all out brawl in the middle of the school day. Joliet West High School parents who shared these videos with CBS2 say the fight was from Friday and they identify the woman in the yellow trying to break up the fight as the school's principal. I am fearful for my daughters at Joliet West. Rosemary McCune has two daughters at Joliet West. She says students who choose to fight and disturb school have been let off the hook. Students that are causing problems and then allowed back into the classroom after a slap on the hand. I have told my daughter that she fears for her life, walk out. James Hill's daughter, Jamie, is a sophomore at Joliet Central. It's just really chaotic at the moment. District 204 says since the beginning of the school year, 80 students have been involved in altercations. Some led to arrests, others suspensions. At least two teachers have been injured in fights. If you're concerned about safety in the schools, please stand. Tonight, the school board held a special meeting, worried parents and staff given the opportunity to let the board hear it. Maybe these kids are scared. Sarah Davis says her son got caught in one of the melees. He was trapped by one of the brawls that surrounded him after he left gym class. He had nowhere to go. The videos of the violence that is happening in our school sickens me and causes me to be fearful, fearful for my daughter's safety. Now, along with those who are directly involved in fights, the superintendent also putting those on notice who actually record these fights, saying that they will also be held responsible. We are live tonight in Joliet. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.